Hey guys, welcome back to Shop Dog Fabrication. So today we're going to be talking about getting ready for Rocky Mountain Race Week 2.0, um, video number two in the series. So as you saw in the last video, you know I did some work on the pulleys and things. Still drove the car, um, ran a little cooler. I want to get it a little cooler yet. So uh, what I did is um, I'm going to bought some header wrap and I'm going to wrap my headers. Um, you know, the headers are real tight to the block here. Uh, so what I figured I'd do is go ahead and wrap them, um, try to get some of the heat away from the block, uh, which should hopefully cool down the engine a little bit more as well as keep the underhead, under hood temps down a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and, and wrap them. So I bought the stuff. I need to go buy the uh, silicone spray they say to use over top, um, you know, of it. So, uh, I got to go run over to the auto parts store and grab a, a can of that real fast. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is my tachometer doesn't work because I still don't have my primary ignition back. I'm still running my backup and it will not obviously turn on a shift light tack. So what I found on Craigslist was this guy and this was actually an amazing deal. So I went on to Craigslist. Normally I go on to Facebook Marketplace and look, but I was like, you know, let me jump on Craigslist. Uh, some people still might list some stuff on there. Um, and this guy posted this. A brand new in the box Mallory tack and this has the shift light tack in it as well as a rev limiter um, which is kind of neat so I'm gonna go ahead and put hook this up here in a little bit test it make sure it works it's never been hooked up the wires have never been cut you know the it's never been mounted it's just been sitting on this guy's shelf in a box so this is a nice nice old-school good Mallory tack that I was able to pick up for 45 bucks off Craigslist. Couldn't beat it. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and wire up to the car because my shift light that I currently, like I said, have um, will not turn on because it doesn't turn on. It turns on with the other ignition and uh, not, um, not with this old crane box. So I need to do that. And so what I did is, like I said, the header app here, I picked this up off of Amazon and I picked up two rolls um, of black header wrap tape or header wrap, um, you know, with some stainless ties. And I've got some more stainless ties here that I can use. So I'm going to do those couple things uh, today. The other thing I'm going to do is, uh, you know, my trailer. Now that I've got the trailer all done, and you can see that in one of the other videos, is, you know, my third, uh, my third brake light here doesn't work. Uh, on my spoiler and the reason being is I switched over to all LED lights in the car all, all LED lights on the trailer and this is not an LED light so I picked up a couple of these guys um, put LED bulbs in them and I'm gonna mount them you know down here so basically uh, uh, you know I've got the trailer lights down low but I also want to mount a couple up high so people can see that hey you know look here's this trailer please don't run into the back of me um, I don't know, maybe it's just me being a little oversensitive, but I want to make sure that nobody ass packs me. So anyway, uh, I'm going to make that uh, mod to the trailer there and get that done um, as well. Uh, so though, and then what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get to Milan this Sunday. Um, so I need to get these few things done, drive the car, heat cycle this tape, make sure everything's good. And then I want to run over to Milan. Uh, it's not a test in tune day. I'll have to do some bracket racing, which I have not done in forever. Um, so I'm going to get my butt handed to me most likely in the first round, but I'll at least make three passes and then try to stick around for, uh, you know, in between rounds to do a, a test in tune uh, type thing and try to make a couple passes. Uh, you know, I'm trying to see if, how close I can get to that 12.0 passes. Uh, I need to see what my um, elevation is compared to like Tulsa and Kansas. Uh, just to see maybe how much I'm going to have to play around with, uh, you know, the, 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 the jetting, things like that to, um, you know, run those 12 O's. So we'll see what, what we can do. This car should run in a high 11. Um, so it'll give me a little wiggle room for those 12 .0s. You know, do I need to lift it at the top end a little bit? Do I need to, you know, change my shift RPM just a touch, maybe take, take just a hair at timing out? You know, what do I need to do to try to get as close as I can to those 12 O's? So anyway, with that said, let me jump in, kind of, you know, I'll take a picture of, you know, the before and after the header wrap, the before and after of, 
like the, uh, the LED lights I'm gonna add to the trailer. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll kind of show you at the end here what I'm doing to get ready for Rocky Mountain Research 2.0, video number two in the series. And then, like I said, we'll make a trip to Milan, kind of show how we're doing and everything else we need to do in between to get ready for, uh, for the event, which will be in one month. Um, so anyway, hang tight and uh, we'll jump into it. All right, everybody. So as you can see now, I've got the upper lights you know, here and here added. And you can see it's blinking, you know, along with, it's kind of hard, but the left uh, rear tail light. And if I were to flip it over, you know, it would do the same here and here. And then if I hit the brakes, you know, then all of them, all four of them will come on. So, you know, the only two that will be running lights will be the, you know, the two bottom ones here and here. Um, you know, I couldn't get the third one working up there, so I kind of gave up on it. But at least now I've got extra brake lights up top, extra turn signals as well up top. So, you know, hopefully people will be able to clearly see when I'm stopping and turning. Well, I've now got the tack mounted up. It's in a nice position. Um, granted, it's blocking the temp and the fuel gauge on the dash, but you know what? They don't work anyway. Um, since I've got, uh, you know, down here, I've got my gauge cluster with my water, my oil, you know, my trans tap, my white band O2, and my charging system. And then over here, you know, by my knee, it's a little blurry. Um, but anyway, there's my fuel gauge. Um, so, you know, the key here is when I got the steering wheel, granted it blocks the tack and what RPM I'm kind of cruising at down the road, which it really isn't that important. The key right here is that, that little guy, that little shift light. You know that i'll be able to see that real easy that i've got it nice and highly mounted up it's nice nice and sturdy and so but as you can see by that mess of wires um it's not wired up yet and i just realized that i'm gonna have to get a tack adapter uh for this gauge it's not going to work with uh, the ignition box i'm running because of, with the magnetic pickup in the msd distributor it's not going to pick up off the negative uh, coil um, so on the negative side of the coil, so I'm going to have to get a tack adapter. So today I get to order that, and then I'll finish wiring this thing up, and then we'll move on to the header wrap, which is kind of next. Hey, everybody. So I got a couple of things from a buddy of mine. One thing I got is these. He's actually letting me borrow them. And you may be going, what are you doing with those ugly-ass Mustang rims? Going to go on your Dodge Dart. Well, my Dodge Dart, I run a 26 inch tire, you know, on the weld wheels, um, so I can keep my gear ratio. Uh, I'm running a 373 gear ratio, and I have a very low, I've added a low gear set in uh, for first gear. So it's like a 430 gear when I launch, and then, you know, when I shift into second, you know, it goes back to more of a 373 with my 26 inch tire, and it's a 275 wide. So I picked up these from him to borrow them, and these are 28 inch tall. And the reason I borrowed these is with, you know, driving what, 12, 1300 miles, um, figured uh, going with 28 inch tire, it'll take some gear out, maybe put me more at like a 355-ish area. So it'll be a little easier on the, on the drivetrain, you know, for the cruise. Um, also, I'm kicking around driving my car down to Tulsa, which will be about 900 miles. Um, so one thing it'll do is unless RPM will prove the fuel economy a little bit and give me a little, like I said, take the RPM down and probably be a little better uh, ride. The other thing I picked up from them was that, that tack adapter that I needed. So now I can go ahead and wire up my tack, um, you know, and get the tack working in the shift light and everything. So that'll be the next thing. And also I finally got these uh, spare valve cover gaskets. Um, I ordered these actually a month ago, and these were actually sent, you know, priority mail, um, you know, to me. Uh, finally got them a month later, and uh, yeah, good old post office doing a great job there. But at least I've got valve cover gaskets, you know, because I had an oil leak issue. So I picked up a couple extra sets just to be on the safe side. So anyway, now let me jump on getting this working, and uh, we'll fire the car up and make sure the tack and everything works. 
Well, as you can see, guys, I was able to fit this 275-17, uh, I believe it's a 50 series on the car, which is a 28 inch tall tire. Uh, it's taller than what I'm running. Like I said, I've got a 26 on there now. You know, that's a Nitto 275-50-15. Um, so I'm gonna be using these for the road drive. Uh, keep the RPM down a little bit. Um, you know, so I can, like I said, take my gear down maybe from a 373 for the cruise down to a 350-ish area, um, make the cruise a little easier on the on the drivetrain, on the motor, you know, so I'm not turning as high RPM. Hopefully keep my temps down a little bit too. Try to just cruise this thing at 65. So I want to give a shout out to my buddy Mark for letting me borrow these for the, uh, for the race week. And then I'll be putting these on the trailer, swapping them out when I get to the track, you know, and make the hits with those. So anyway... They're going to look fugly on the car, um, but they're good for the road trip. So anyway, there's one more thing off the checklist. Now, time to get the tack wired up so we can test it, make the ship light, and everything else works. Well, as you can see, guys, what I've done is just kind of wired this thing up temporarily um, just to make sure that the tack adapter works to my old crane ignition box, which is a temporary box until I get my primary back. And then you can see down there, you know, I've just got the wires temporarily wired up again. Um, you know, it's pretty late now. I've got, you know, after I got home from work, swapped out the tires to make sure they would fit. And now, you know, wiring up this tack. So basically, I'm not going to start it up tonight because uh, I want to keep my neighbors happy. So tomorrow at lunchtime, I'll, uh, you know, basically fire this thing up and see what happens and hopefully the tack works and if it does then tomorrow night i will wire this thing up um, permanently and nice and clean and heat shrink everything and you know mount the box and the whole nine yards and that part of it will be done and then it'll be on to the header wrap and then uh, once i get the header wrap all set then uh, if all goes well i'll uh, try to get to the track on sunday Hey guys, something else just showed up in the shop today. Spare front tire. So I ordered a spare front tire for the car just in case, you know, we get a flat. Uh, this matches the same brand and size as the ones that I have on the car currently. So I figure just in case something happens in this road trip, you know, I can at least uh, put on a spare tire that I'll have. Um, that'll get me by until I can get somewhere to put on, you know, this tire should something occur. The other thing is I do have no freaking clue when my primary ignition is going to show up um, over here. You can see I was fooling around with the tack adapter last night. Um, so I have no idea when it's going to show up. Um, so instead of trying to wire this up to that, um, a buddy of mine had basically a brand new uh, 6AL um, that he had. He sent it back last uh, September. Um, they got it in, they went through, they found several things wrong with it. He had everything repaired and it has not been used since then. So, you know, I basically have a brand new MSD uh, 6AL box um, that had some work done to it. So I'm going to wire this up uh, tonight with the tack adapter, get the tack and everything working. And um, that's just one less thing that I need to worry about. And then finally, maybe I can get around to wrapping those headers. So with that said, I'm going to jump on this, get this sucker wired up as well. All right, everyone, just a quick update. So we have the tack in, it's working, it's all um, wired up. You know, ship light right now, I've got it set at about 56, but tomorrow I'll set it for more like 58. Uh, when I go to the drag strip, got the interior all back in, both seats. I just need to fix the bracket for the passenger side, you know, to give it uh, additional support. Um, but otherwise, everything is all back together the way it should be. I just need now to pack up the trailer this evening um, with some, you know, just a few spare tools, a few spare parts. Um, stop in the morning, get some gas, and head to the track. So, guys... So guys, that'll be uh, it for this video. Uh, a little update, a lot actually what happened, you know. Um, you know, the tack got 
tack done, got different ignition box. I mean, different tires for the crews, got a spare tire in, you know, got the interior of all back together. So a lot happened, um, you know, over this, uh, since the last video. So, I, so I hope you enjoy this, this little series of videos because uh, I'm planning on driving this car from Michigan to Tulsa. Uh, it's going to be a long haul but it's actually like 900 miles and then, you know, whatever the 1300 miles and then the 900 miles back. So I just need to fix an oil leak on this thing. Uh, I'm going to make three hits tomorrow at the minimum because I'm going to be doing bracket racing. Then I haven't bracket raced in forever. So I'm sure I'm going to get my ass handed to me first round. Hey, if I win first round, that's just a bonus and I get one more pass and, uh, you know, I'll take it. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you guys soon.